So I've reached Anachal now. The final destination for the bus. Now I have to walk for about 700 meters up the hill to reach my hostel called the Lost Hostel. I don't know where it is lost. So what are my initial impressions? Guys, I've had some moments in the bus where I thought it's going to be great when I looked at the view when I looked up the hill but right now, if you ask me my initial impressions are pretty mixed this is really not what I was expecting or hoping I was hoping to have a proper, proper village around not a bustling town like this hopefully up the hill I will have a village not too far down from here from where I came from there are resorts and theme parks and lots of tourists So, if this place is going to be like this, it is spoiled for me. Come on, look at this. This is what I'm talking about. So, if this place stays like this, even up the hill, then I'm not happy. <laughs> then I won't be happy with this place. But let's not dampen the mood. It's just the beginning. I hope I'm on the right path. If this is the path, I see some hope because the town is behind me. Hello. Hello. I'm going to the place called the Lost Hostel. Eh? The Lost Hostel. Lost Hostel. Have you heard of it? The time has been increasing. So I think Google Maps is playing up as it always does. I have to keep walking. <laughs> I have to keep walking because the description that uh, the hostel staff has sent me on booking.com says that the hostel is on top of a hill and this is the only path that goes uphill. So I must be on the right path. Let me ask this guy if he knows something. Hello. Do you know this place called the Lost Hostel? Eh? The Lost Hostel. Uh, Lost Hostel. Green Spa. Yeah, green, green Spa. spa. Huh. Yeah. A green Aerody Spa. Green Spa. Huh. Is it from here? No, Green Spa. No. This, no. Straight going, straight and right to one junction, Anachal Junction. Anachal Junction. Straight also Kochi Road. Okay. Kochi Road nearby petrol pump. Okay. Petrol pump side straight uh, 300 meter right side green spa. But I have to go down the hill. Uh, down, down. No, I want to go up the hill. Up, uh, sir, going hotel? Yeah, it's it's a hostel. It's hostel. called the, the Lost Hostel. Lost Hostel. It's on top of a hill. Sir, you go to the straight this way. 
Where? You just have uh, or took one one and a half kilometer. So one junction is there. Okay. One road is to go for the state. One was the, the just a wide road. You take the left hand side, the straight road. Left hand side. Yeah. But you go up the hill, right? No. Yeah. There is one. one when you reach the uh, the right time, then uh -huh. you go up. Okay. So otherwise the straight road is the one one and a half kilometer. Okay. So one temple is there in the right hand side. Okay. So it's not IFR temple. After that, uh, a small junction. There okay. is the one road is shown there. Okay. Two kilometer from. Two kilometers. Okay. The straight road. Thank you. Okay, so according to these men, I was on the wrong path. These things, guys, these things are part and parcel of my way of traveling, which, as I say, is adventurizing. So I'm, this, this doesn't frustrate me. What frustrates me is when I have to spend unnecessary money or when the place turns out to be not what I hoped for. I'm hoping for a village and it turns out to be all touristy and a bustling town. That's frustrating. But this it's just experience. This is just learning. So I don't mind walking a couple of kilometers or three, four kilometers extra because I'm not able to find the way. That's fine. This is where my bus came from to a natural here and I went that side whereas I have to go this side up the hill here so now I'm on the right path going up the hill but this town is not what I came to see here but a town like this is what I see everywhere in India so that's not what I've come here for hopefully now This path will get quieter the further up we go, hopefully. Hello! Shy cats. This kind of shops is not what I'm here for. Where is the village? I'm still hopeful, guys. I'm still hopeful. After drinking this water, after nearly six and a half hours, my mood is my mood is improved. This water has given me given me optimism and positivity again. about the language barrier the language barrier here is huge it's bigger than what I saw in Meghalaya in Meghalaya people spoke English at least but here people don't speak Hindi and very few people speak English so far so far And one more thing that I'm noticing is they don't have signs in English. I mean, some of the buses had had signs in English, the names of the place mentioned in English, but most of the buses had only Malayalam writing. So you can't make out, an outsider cannot make out by looking at the bus as to which bus goes where. And I, I saw the board on this temple or whatever it was and it was only Malayalam writing so you can't tell what it is I mean that's not a criticism of the place but 
just some reporting of the things that I'm noticing here. Okay. I think the place is getting better for me. It is getting better for me. I am going away from the town. Thank God. Thank God. I would hate this experience if if I don't land land up in a village. Okay, green spa here. A man with a GoPro. <laughs> okay, so I'm on the on the right path. Okay, the lost hostel is there. I saw the board. Okay, so the hostel is up this hill. I'll keep the camera on now because we are about to reach after some hike. Oh, quite a hike it is. Very steep. I hope there are some villages on top. If not, then I'll have to come down here to the town and then on my way up the hill in the bus I saw some villages but if I have to go there they are far but somehow I'll have to go that distance if I don't get any village here because I'm not going to vlog the town Huh. I'm getting tired soon because I'm already tired a foreigner hey Hello. where are you from? Uh, uh, Canada. nice to meet you, what's your name? Connor Darshan Darshan you're staying here? yeah yeah okay I'm just arriving Okay, I'll see you then. Yeah, this is hard, eh? <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. This is what heaven tastes like. Carry on, soldier on, the lost hostel is here, I see another tire board, I think it's here now, this one, that woman carrying those uh, leaves is going there probably to a village <laughs> I'll go there if that's a village I will uh, 
these are the tents so I'm gonna be staying in one of these because I booked a tent for three nights two of which probably I'll be staying where is the entrance from uh, I think the entrance was there but now that I'm here I'll just go from here one of these tents is mine okay there is the entrance So we have arrived now. Let me bring out my ID. So guys, this is my tent now. I've checked in. And uh, right now it's quite hot here because it's sunny but obviously people who have booked the tent are not going to stay in the tent at this time so there is a common area here where people can chill so i was sitting there for some time i'm going out i have not come here to chill inside this place but i've come here to explore this place so when I'm walking it's the temperature is pleasant it feels pleasant because I can feel the breeze which is not hot it is it, it's not cold but it's pleasant I don't want to go outside now because there's a town there which already dampened my mood so I'll go this way yeah so what I was saying is when I'm walking I feel the breeze which is pleasant the temperature must be around 24 or 25 here which is again I'm reserving all the negative comments right now but I expected something else from Munnar never trust the tourists but that view is good and who knows what's in store here so we'll go here so guys let's not be negative we've just arrived here and let's make the best of it Let's see what we have here in the jungle. Is this a dead end? Let's see. Oh, people are staying here, but it's locked right now. Let's see how do I look. Tired. Okay, let's move on. So we can not invade this house, but we can check it out from the outside. Oh, this is where they warm their water, I guess. Or cook their food. 
and this is the back side of the house okay can I go from here I think I can then I will so we'll come around this is some place for let me not say that if you are an Indian you might have guessed I don't do that though okay let's go back here and further up that path some toy truck so apparently some kid stays there yeah so coming back to my impression about this place so guys seriously speaking let's uh, keep aside all the negativity but talking about the facts yeah I did not expect this place to be the way it turned out to be so far I thought there would be villages and I saw pictures of uh, tea plantations all over so I thought there would be tea plantations all over and maybe that's those pictures are right because when I saw the pictures the pictures were of Munnar this is not Munnar this is a little uh, this is a place which is little away from Munnar but when I read about this place it said that because it is away from Munnar town it is quieter and away from the bustle of the uh, of the town or the city if you call it city that's why I chose this place assuming that Munnar town would be touristy and uh, noisy but yeah so now I have this way and that way I'll go there I doubt if I'll find a village here let's see what we have here another house but the door is open opportunity to invade but I already came this way so let's go this way oh, I think there are villages or a village good then if I find a village and if I find some people to talk to interact with nothing like it that would serve my purpose hi it's your house you you live here hindi english no okay bye bye i'm just exploring this this area just looking at the place bye bye okay i think i can't interact with people because they don't speak hindi or english that's not their fault even if i want to invade the house i need some interaction <laughs> i need some interaction without that i can't even if i ask them to be let in to see their house if they don't understand that how can I proceed okay so let's go here now it's your house that's another house this is where they keep their firewood so I think yeah there are scattered houses 
here and there. Oh, wow, let's see this. There's a man smoking up there. Let me ask him if I can look at this place. Hello. Hi. Can I look at this place? Thank you. So what is this village called? English? English. Hindi? English. No. no. Village name? No. Name. This village name? Cheradi. What? Cheradi. Cheradi. Okay. C H E R A D Y A L. Okay, Cheradi. Okay. I'll just look at the place. Okay. That's fine, right? Thank you. I'm making a video about this place. <laughs> there are some goats here. These are your goats? Okay, there are some more goats here. And there are cows. How many cows do you have? How many? Two cows. So you milk them? Every morning. Tomorrow you will milk them. Tomorrow morning you will milk them. Can I come and see? What time? I'm I'm staying there. In that hostel I'm staying. So what time will you will milk them? Time time. Morning. Six six six. Can I come and see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I come tomorrow morning? Six? Five. Five. So can I come at five? I'll come and see. It's okay. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if they understand. Do you understand me? No. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, they are good people, but I don't think they understand what I'm asking. There are one, two, three, four, five, five goats. I can hear some dogs also. Nine, nine, goats. <laughs> Counting those, there are nine goats. Oh, oh, they're scared, they're scared. Okay, I don't want to scare them. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so... Okay, semi-successful interaction. Okay, this is the kind of interaction I'm looking for, guys. Yeah, so if I, if I get things like this I'm happy I'm as happy as I could be from this trip this is what I'm doing this trip for to get the feel of the village to, to interact with people look at how they how they live look at their homes look at their economies Lakeview Resort Okay, I don't want that view of the lake Let's go back. Look at this tree naked I want to say something Forget it. So guys, catching my trail of thought again. 
just because you spend money and travel somewhere you know give give your money give your time give your days doesn't mean that you have to speak well of that place let's go here now so my impression of this place still remains mixed i don't want to walk around with spoiled mood so i'm leaving the negativity behind and keeping the optimism up but the truth be told my impression is mixed i'm not too happy and of course i don't want to be sad that's the choice i'm making some machinery running there lot of noise i'll go back so on this side it ends with the lake view resort on this side it ends with some machinery running and i saw a couple of houses interacted with a family right there do i have a choice now but to explore the town i didn't come here for a town i came here for a village but maybe if i cross the town and walk a little further i'll hit upon a village i'm beginning to think that the next time i travel somewhere i have to get myself a drive, driving license so that i can rent a bike and then explore the place in more detail because it's not that there are no villages around when i was coming up the hill in the bus i saw lots of interesting places interesting homes interesting a little villages you could call them yeah but they are far away from here and i don't think i can walk that far so now i'm left with the only choice that is the town but on a second thought i think this video has gone beyond 30 minutes already so why not i end it now yeah i'll end this vlog here and with this i'll bury all the negativity but i'll keep this vlog and i'll uh, publish this in the form of a vlog of about 30 minutes where i express my initial impression uh, my thoughts about the initial impression of this place unfiltered every vlog does not have to be full of excitement it does not have to be happy i want to show the reality of me of my travel experience so i'll post it but so far and this is the last time i'll say this negative thing then i'll explore the town i'll explore other places because i have today and tomorrow entire day and i'll explore whatever i can without talking negatively but the last thing that i'll say right now which is negative is that this is way 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 be below 
my expectation or what I was hoping way below <laughs> you know sometimes if you say if you see something grand you say that you don't have words to express that but the opposite is happening with me right now so this is so much below my expectation that I don't have words to express my dissatisfaction. So guys, I just switched my booking from the tent into the dormitory here because it's too hot outside. I didn't expect the hill station to be so hot. Now after evening, it would not be so hot. But uh, if I keep my stuff in the tent, my laptop, my camera, my camera batteries, everything is getting fried in the heat, which I can't afford. So I talked to the manager, paid some extra and uh, moved my stuff into the dormitory.